On average, we think something like 6,000 thoughts per day. And of those 6,000 thoughts, on average, for sure many of us think many more, but of those 6,000 thoughts, about 90% of them are the same thing that we thought yesterday. Think about that, we're just regurgitating the same thoughts, the same ideas, the same schedules, the same meetings, the same commercial songs, little jingles in our mind, over and over. And this is where we get stagnant, this is where we get stressed. This is where meditation is the solution. Namaste guys and welcome back to day 17, welcome back to day 18 of our 30 day meditation transformation series. My name is Andrew, super happy to have you here. And this is what I want to talk about today, the benefit of meditation that creates space in the mind. So in the last couple of days we've been working on this meditation of witnessing the space between the breath. All of the meditation techniques are working to create space between the mind because when we sit and we just witness, we witness one thing, we develop our concentration, we develop our awareness of when the mind is escaping us. We're also allowing the brain, the subconscious, to go through a sort of defragmentation in terms of computer terms, but a, a clearing out of the clutter, a releasing of the noise, the background, this constant, our mind is like a constant train running by. No space for something new. When we sit, and we do nothing, and we allow ourselves that purge, that detox of mental activity, what it does is it creates gaps between the thoughts. Those gaps are the precious moment for insight, for inspiration, for new thoughts to bubble up. It can be so often that we find ourselves in a situation where we're like, oh, I don't like this, but there's no other option. If you ever have this idea, there's no other option. There's infinite options. In any given moment, there is literally infinite options, but your karma, your patterns and habits and cycles and everything, they bind you into an idea that there's this option or that option, and maybe there's not even two. So if you're ever having this idea that you wanna change something, but there's no options, the problem is, or the issue is that there's many options, but there's no space in your mind to see them. This is the benefit of meditation, of creating space creating space between the thoughts, lapses in all the noise in the mind where a new thought, a new inspiration, a new idea can bubble forth. This is where we find the, our true path in life. It's not from constantly chugging and grinding, and, and this is beneficial. You know, if we wanna pursue a goal or, or achieve something, it's important to have that locomotive kind of energy. But if we need to find something new, if we wanna let go, if we wanna move forward in a new direction, we need space for something else to open up. This is one of the most beautiful benefits. They're all beautiful. <laughs> I'm really inspired by many of the benefits of meditation. But this is another one that I want to share with you. Creating that space between the thought gives us enhanced imagination, enhanced creativity, enhanced mental insight, where we can be like, <gasps> the greatest minds, the greatest thinkers, you know, Einstein, a lot of people think oh, Einstein was a genius because he just grinded it out on the, on the chalkboard and thought, long and hard about his uh, theory of relativity and other scientific philosophies. Einstein was a really well-known violinist and he said that most of his ideas, he did, he, he put an intention working on the paper or on the chalkboard, whatever it was. He was working really hard with that, but most of his inspirations came when he was playing his violin because he took a break from all that chugging Music can also be a beautiful meditation. Take a break from all of that clutter. And in that gaps, answers arise. Inspiration, creativity. And often these are where real truths come up. Like the theory of relativity and so many other beautiful insights that all the greatest minds have had throughout history. There's always this uh, pattern where that person has some form of meditation or of zoning out or of dropping out or creating a moment where space happens between the thoughts and truth is revealed. So I hope you can have, maybe you've already had, if you have had some experiences like this, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. It's inspiring for me as a teacher. It's also inspiring for other people that are on this path. So any revelations that you've had over the last 17 days, let me know. I'd love to hear it. And I also want to say again, because I mentioned it, if you are one of those people that finds yourself in cycles, in patterns, whether they're the same relationships, whether it's stuck at work, 
whether it's difficult emotions, any of these sort of karmic patterns that keep repeating, we have developed Journey Through the Chakras Level 2 for exactly this, to give you the practices that release this energy behind the patterns, behind the cycles, so that we can break those cycles and step into something new. So if you feel stuck in your life, if you feel like you're grinding out on, you're not going anywhere and you need some space for something new, you need to let go of something, check out Journey Through the Chakras Level 2. It's an amazing program. We give you all sorts of really potent techniques for letting go and breaking forward into something new. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let's get ready to practice and find even more space between the thoughts. Beautiful. So again, today we're going to be in Ardha Siddhasana. It's optional, but I'm going to be uh, instructing Ardha Siddhasana. In fact, today I'm going to use a question again because I feel like it's, uh, it's more helpful in this pose. We will start in a wide leg position. <clears throat> uh, yesterday was day one of the second round of Ardha Siddhasana. So we start on the left. Today we're going to start on the right. So bringing in that right heel to press into the perineum or opening of the yoni and bringing that left heel to stack in front. Oh, see, for me, it's so much more comfortable with this slight elevation of the hips. And then I can press onto my perineum without it being too painful. Sitting nice and tall, shoulders back and down, reaching up to the crown. Close the eyes, go inside. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth, side out. Oh, feel the body soften. Beautiful. Again, deep inhalation. Side out. Oh, allowing the mind to relax. Beautiful. This time I want you to take as deep of a breath as you can. Fill the lungs. Even more. Even more. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Let it go. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed. Tension turned inside. Start to bring your awareness to the natural flow of respiration in and out through the nose. Feeling the sensations of the breath. Witnessing the natural flow of the breath. Allowing the breath to be what it is. Allow your mind to grow quiet, your body to soften. Become aware of the subtle sensations of the breath, tingling vibrations. And as the mind becomes more still, more quiet, pay extra attention that pause, the brief moment that is the space between the breath. Just witness the space and go immediately back to breathing, fully present to the sensations of the breath, fully present to the space between the breath.
become aware of the space between the thoughts, of the space between the breath.
Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Become aware of where you are now after the practice. How you feel in your body, in your mind. We will conclude the class with a moment of gratitude, giving thanks to yourself for this opportunity to create space. Give yourself that time to find inspiration, insight, self-love, a new direction, renewed enthusiasm. Thank you. Thank you for this time. Such a beautiful thing. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. So again, I can give my deepest thanks to you. Really enjoying to share this time with you. I hope you're enjoying to share it with me. Clearly you are, so it's a good time to <laughs> smash that like button. Um, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Really enjoy. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. You know that. And have a beautiful day. Namaste.